Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Aries. Hello Aries. This is Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. And we're, today we're going to take a look at your forecast for the month of March 2014. And right off the bat, we've got a few cards here, so uh, let's take a look at all this. Um, okay, taking a look at the reading here, we've got, uh, looks like there's money coming. It looks like it's going to be the end of a long struggle for you. Uh, this looks very favorable. I feel like there's definitely money coming. And it's talking about Earth. And we are going to have, I did a little chart of the wheel for the month and a few of the planets here, the new and full moon and everything. And this would be actually your wheel with Aries on the Ascendant. Full moon in the sixth house in Earth in Virgo uh, on March 16th. And it shows that money's coming and money's possibly coming with the Earth vibe. So that could be, you know, uh, that full moon at that time. And death is not a bad thing. Death is like, it's good. It's the end of the struggle, I feel. The struggle that's been going on for quite a while, maybe for since the beginning of this year, or definitely during the uh, Aquarius time. I'm feeling, you know, this air, these, these are people, and these are probably people that are going to be helpful, like the man's going to help you with the struggle, and this is somebody else that's maybe coming in later. But I think because they're showing us the air in the winter, I feel like what they're saying, it's going to be an air-to-air -air cycle. So maybe this is you lost your job in Libra and then you got a lead in Aquarius and you get hired on the full moon. Or um, something happened in Aquarius and then by Gemini you're caught up again. You know, So it feels like it's this air-to-air -air cycle. There was a falling out and a bad situation it looks like. Now this could be a romantic breakup during these times. That could have cost you financially. I mean that's definitely a possibility. Uh, but I'm not really feeling like that. I'm feeling more of like a... I feel betrayal very strong around this uh, energy. But I'm kind of feeling like um, you you thought they were your friend. Somebody that you were working with or in a work relationship or a business thing. And you thought that they were your friend. And turned out that maybe maybe they weren't. Um, so that's that's the vibe I'm getting. So definitely new stuff coming. New money coming. New people. New people who are upright in position. So uh, new people who are going to be a positive impact on your life. And some of you are going to be having a birthday um, in the latter part of the month. The other thing I want to do, I was going to do this for everybody, just a quick little thing. Now on March 1st, new moon in your 12th house. We're going to do a quick little astrology uh, monthly thing too, just with a new and full moon and some of the aspects. So March 1st, new moon in the 12th, old stuff, dream, pay attention to your dreams, very powerful, psychic conscious, intuitions. Uh, don't talk yourself out of things. If you've got a hunch to do something and, and, and everything in your mind is saying no, 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 and have all the excuses, just do it. it. I feel like it just can't hurt. Okay, then in the full moon um, on the 16th is going to be in your sixth house of work and health. So this is good. It's, it's culminating. I mean, and it, I, it can be culmination in a bad way, but I'm feeling like a really a good way for you. You're going to get that job. Uh, you're going to, that health problem, you're going to find the right treatment or it's going to be feeling better for you. Or maybe you'll, you could have, actually don't ever have a surgery on the full moon. That's a bad time. <laughs> but, or maybe you, know, you could schedule this surgery, but you're going to have some resolution or some, something like that, either in work or health. And then, March 30th, almost at the end of the month, we're going to have a powerful new moon in Aries, which is in your sign. Big, powerful day to do manifesting. The new moon in your sign and your birth date, your solar return, the most powerful times to uh, manifest something great. Okay, also the vernal equinox on uh, March 20th, zero Aries. Very powerful for everyone, and in particular your Aries. Okay, so that's our reading for... March. If you'd like a more in-depth reading, you can find that information below. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, donating, and I'll talk to you next month. What is Organite? Originally discovered in the 1930s by Wilhelm Reich, 
Orgon energy, or etheric energy, is present in living things including the human body. Wright proposed that illness occurs when our etheric body is out of balance, and that positive organ energy could realign the etheric field, thus facilitating healing and balance of one's life force, chi or prana. It has since been scientifically proven that energy called piezoelectricity, meaning electricity resulting from pressure, is created by the compression of certain materials such as quartz crystals, wood, salt, sugar, ceramics, and bones. As the resin cures in an organite piece, it shrinks and compresses the organic matter contained within. The energy emitted creates a positive energy generator. You really can feel the energy coming forth from these pieces. Organite clears the air and neutralizes negative emotions as well as electronic clutter from our high-tech devices. Each organite piece is lovingly hand-created using intuitive pairing of materials to enhance and raise vibration and aid in ascension and a spiritual awakening. I use materials from nature, including the bark from a sacred willow for grounding, and gold flakes to emulate the golden light basking down from the higher dimensions. Visit my Etsy shop for a wide selection of handmade organ pieces, especially designed for spiritual growth, including heart opening, chakra alignment and activation, and more. Visit www.organenergyflow.etsy.com to see more beautiful organ pieces. And remember, you are love and beauty incarnate.